Hi, this is Ross Buecher from Controlman Icon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can do a time lapse using the built-in intervalometer for Controlman Icon. Now I'm connected here with a D7000 to a Windows 7 64-bit system. Okay, now if we go up to the trigger menu and down to your intervalometer, brings up this window right here and I have the image browser up. We'll look at the images as they come in as they're captured on the intervalometer. Now we have several different options here, but basically you can start the image capture when you press the button or at a particular date and time. So if you wanted to leave your computer running and your camera on, maybe you could do a sunset time lapse. Just have it start at a particular day and time. Now if you press this button here, it'll bring you to the current date and time. So it just helps you do a little bit less data entry. But I'm gonna leave it here for start button and it's going to attempt to capture an image without autofocusing first. It's going to be the same as pressing the shoot button every three seconds. The third thing we need to do here is set up how many captures we like. Now doing a time-lapse video could take a lot of images here and there's a little calculator here on the bottom. You can specify what your final frame rate is going to be in your final movie that you're going to make, how many seconds long the movie is going to be and it'll tell you how many images that you need. You also need to be aware that Nikon cameras have a particular lifespan on this shutter. And it, for example, at a D7000, it's about 150,000 images. After that point, Nikon says, you know, the warranty's off of that and it could start to degrade. So you need to be careful of how many images that you're capturing. So let's give one a try. Let's say I wanted to just start doing a capture and I'm going to start it when I press the start button and end it when I press the stop button. Okay, let's start. And it'll just keep going. It's using all the settings that you set up here. And we stop. And you can see here, I put it in a folder, INT for intervalometer, and basically the date and time in the second. So when we start doing another capture, it's gonna put it in another folder. Let's try it a little bit different here. Let's say I just wanted five images and we'll do it every five seconds. We'll start. And we could see it went into a separate folder. Troma Nikon does not have the ability to create the time-lapse video. You need to take these images and import them into another software application that will allow you to create that movie. And that's it. That's how you use the intervalometer in Control Nikon. Happy tethering.